I'm Michael Clementi, and today I'm standing next to the all-new Epson SureColor T-Series printer. And I'm going to talk to you from a user standpoint about what I love about this printer as far as the features of it. Starting off, I want to talk about how it arrived and how easy it was to get going. So the, the simplification of this unit, there's no construction needed whatsoever of any stand of any sort. So all it was was just pulling the plastic off of it plugging it into the wall, plugging my cartridges in, turning it on and charging it, which was really nice. <laughs> Change of pace from putting together several types of printers. So really easy to get started. The software that comes with it for free, we're gonna go over in several different videos here and show you some of that com uh, component of this printer. Also going to talk to you about the different types of applications and the different types of things you can run through the printer. So keep an eye on future videos. This is more to talk about the different options for this printer that you can have. So this is the 36 inch model 5770D and there is a 24 inch model 3770 and a 44 inch model 7770. Now the D, as you can see, stands for dual roll. There's two rolls up front here. You can run those and this is a very important thing I think for users and, and features of that I would think about having because the dual roll is a nice addition for people that want to run two different types of materials or they want to run continuous and they don't want to stop. So I can have two rolls of the same product, two rolls of two different products. I can have different widths and I can run continuous on those until it's out. So you can run two different products or you can actually use this top roll for a take up. So you just basically touch a button here, turns it into a take up reel. And now you can print a 20 foot long banner or you can go overnight unattended directly to the take up and it'll take it back up. And then you can do your post process trimming the following day or whenever it's done. That dual roll feature is very, very effective and I love it. I think it's one of the best things about this printer. So if you are considering getting the regular unit, that's fine too. If you don't see yourself using the dual roll functionality, now there also is an M series, which is basically a modular scanner that goes on the front. And that will basically take your copy and make prints of it. It'll copy it, scan it, print it. Or you can take that scan and send it off to a file that's on your computer. They have a new USB entry point here that you can store your files on a key that are PDF, TIFF, or JPEG, plug it into the front of this printer and access them from the front and print directly instead of going to your computer to open up a file. So they also have a port, a hard drive that's 950 gigabytes. So you can actually store data on here. It's fully encrypted and be able to draw from that as well. They have a Adobe Postscript engine built in so that if you have PDF files with layers, it will translate those layers and print them correctly onto the printer. There's also an L series. You might see an L at the end of the nomenclature on the model number, and that actually equates to larger ink tanks. And that's only available on the 44 inch model. So the ink tank bay on the regular models looks like this. You have an easy access door, and you have a nice storage area for new ink tanks, but you also have an easy pull system to get the ink out. This is a um, 110 milliliter. They do have 350 milliliters and 700 milliliters for this model specifically without the L. With the L, it would be a diff different looking system, a tray system that would pull out and you would have 1500 milliliter cartridges, which is 1.5 liters. It's more than double the 700 liter car or milliliter cartridge that comes with this, or can get with this printer. So. I love the fact that I can push this up against the wall. That is one of the biggest things about this design that I love. Everything is accessible from the front, including this nice basket that they neatly pack away and rolls out and stores for you just by pushing it back in. So if I'm going to do posters, I'm going to pull that out and let them fall into the tray. So we talked about the ink sizes. Well, let's talk about the types of ink that are in here. It's an actual pigmented ink that is a six color model now. So with pigmented inks, you can expect a three to six month term outdoor. So if you're going to do temporary outdoor banner material on LexJet's um, tough coat blockout banner, then you can expect that to last about three to six months. If you're going to do indoor, this is way beyond that. So, you know, 30 to 60 years on these inks. The inks come in red. So now you have an ink that is an actual red. And that's important because I've spent many a times trying to get magenta to look red. <laughs> and especially on those brand color specifics that you need to hit that specific brand color red. This has a red cartridge alongside of the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So you have two blacks. There's photo black and matte black 
Photo Black for Photo Surface products, Matte Black for Matte products. So I'm going to talk to you about what I've run through here so far, and I'm going to show you videos on that, and so just keep watching for new videos coming out on this printer. But I have also run polypropylenes, banner materials, films, canvas, you name it. I pretty much put it through here. There's also a really cool poster board product that you don't have to print and stick to get it to a, a rigid substrate. You run the rigid substrate right through the printer, which is really nice. So that is a cool feature. This printer also can do poster board. So in closing, I'd like to say that I'm fully impressed with this printer from Epson. I think they did a fantastic job from the design elements, simplicity of use, the add-ons that you can get as a printer are really nice and you can customize that to however you want it obviously with the models that you can pick from and also the bl the red ink is a must-have i think for this industry it's a very nice addition also the entry level point of of price point on this printer is very affordable so if you have any questions about this printer let's let's talk about it give us a call you can talk to me directly or you can talk to your rep you can drop a comment down below or you can like and subscribe our channel and just wait on these new videos that are going to come out. I'm going to show you how this printer works, show you through the software that we have that comes with it free and show you some things that you can add on as well as, uh, you know, in the post-production process to help you move faster and more efficient with the printer. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And again, we'll see you soon.